It has now been five days since the big bomb cyclone hit Colorado, and you know there are still some abandoned cars waiting to be retrieved. In some cases, it's because the drivers are still struggling to reach their vehicles. It's unreal. Mm -hmm. Karen Morfitt spoke with one family whose car was buried in snow, and they tried everything to get it out, Karen, but in the end, it was a man in a pickup driving by who got the job done. Britt, and they're so thankful for that man who stopped. Their daughter was on her way back from a job interview at DIA when she got stuck in those whiteout conditions and veered off the road. This is where her car ended up. We're out there digging. Underneath all that snow, a 2011 Nissan Altima. Lashana Langley and husband Kevin Donaldson say their daughter got stuck in that blizzard. Dad came out there. Luckily found her. Police never found their car during recovery efforts, and on Saturday, the family started digging. My other daughter was like standing on top of the hump, and she just started digging. And about a foot down, foot. she reached that the black of the top of the car. Tow trucks trying to pull the car out ended up stuck. On Monday, five days after the storm, the family went back, shovels in hand, hoping that someone might see them and lend a hand. You know what they're saying because they're looking at the window going. Finally, someone did. This gentleman in a four by four named Brandon came along. Never even noticed there was a car buried out there. so. Figured I would stop and help him out. After days of rescuing travelers as a tow truck driver, Brandon Zyke didn't mind spending his day off working. I was like, well, you guys are going to be here a while. I got shovels and chains. Eventually, Zyke was able to get that car out of the massive hole. Do you think that you would have your car tonight if uh, he had? Oh, no. no. Matter of fact, we might have had two cars damaged <laughs> <laughs> the car that was in the hole and then his car and that was car trying that was to pull that to out. Unfortunately, their daughter didn't get that job at DIA, but while she was stuck in this hole in her car, she took a phone interview with a different company and they hired her. In Aurora tonight, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.